For a decade long, Freddie Freeman had been the face of the Atlanta Braves. Everything about him screamed the prototype of the face and captain of a baseball team. He always had a smile on his face, always seemed to be in a good mood, was mature, and of course really good, being one of the best players in baseball. Now, as much of a face of the franchise as Freddie has been, that title kind of started to change a little bit for some people in 2018, and that's because of Acuna Jr. who bursted onto the scene. He was incredible, won the Rookie of the Year award, and has never looked back. 2019 was awesome for Acuna, so was 2020, and 2021 started out strong before a horrific season-ending freak injury during the game. Thankfully, Acuna is going to be back on the field this season, probably mashing for the Atlanta Braves. As for Freeman, he will not be returning to the field this season to mash for the Atlanta Braves, and that's because he of course left the Braves for the Dodgers to get more money. Nothing against that, as it's what most people would do, although it's pretty ironic considering the tax situation in California compared to Georgia, but that's beside the point. At the end of the day, Freddie Freeman will always have those years he had in a Braves uniform, and will always be a former teammate of the young Acuna, someone he was able to mentor and someone Acuna was able to look up to. Or not. Freeman was actually never a mentor to Acuna, and Acuna sure as hell never looked up to Freeman as one. And that's because Ronald Acuna Jr. doesn't like Freddie Freeman, never did, and will not miss him. In honor of opening day, I want to take a moment to shout out the sponsor of this video, Thrive Fantasy, which is a daily fantasy sports and esports app for player props. If you want to make some money betting on games during the upcoming baseball season, you're going to want to listen to this. With Thrive Fantasy, you can eliminate the countless hours of research and focus on only the top tier athletes that have the biggest impact on the game. Here's how it works. You choose 10 out of the 20 available player props to build your lineup. Each prop is assigned a fantasy value for both the over and the under based on how likely it is to hit. Hit the most props and rack up the most points to win a share of the prize pool. Thrive has a $20,000 guaranteed contest for MLB opening day with a $5,000 first place prize. And there is now a promo code you can use for this. Click on the link in the description or in the comments below, or go to the site and use the promo code ITALK when you sign up today and you will receive a 100 instant first deposit match up to $100. And deposit $10 and receive two free $25 contest tickets as well. Download Thrive Fantasy on the App Store or Play Store by visiting their website www.thrivefantasy.com. Opening day is here, so if you want to go make some cash, sign up and prop up today. Now, back to the video. During the 2021 season, Ronald Acuna Jr. was on an Instagram Live. A really funny moment then took place, when none other than Freddie Freeman entered the live chat and told him, Ronald, we need your bag so we can leave. Right away, like I said, it was a funny moment, and something that most people laughed at and brushed off as a goofy dad moment from Freddie. Acuna later ended up getting hurt, the Braves made a ton of moves, and the team, led by Freddie, went on to win the NL East, beat the Brewers in their stellar pitching in the NLDS, the Juggernaut Dodgers in the NLCS, and then took down the Houston Astros to shock the world and win the 2021 World Series. Everything looked great. Freeman was a free agent and bound to come back, Acuna was coming back, the Braves were still solid overall and ready to repeat, what can go wrong? Well, Freeman is now gone. It's a sad moment. Freeman will surely miss the Braves and his former teammates who are still in Atlanta will surely miss him. Freeman didn't seem to care that Alex Anthopoulos teared up when discussing his departure. And as for the Braves players, I'm sure some of them miss Freddie, but it just so now happens that the best player on the team never actually liked him. That Instagram Live comment may have seemed like a little quip at the time just to poke fun at Acuna, but looking back, Freeman may have genuinely been upset, and he may have genuinely been upset because there was beef between the two players. In a recent interview, another Instagram Live interview, ironically, Ronald Acuna Jr. was asked about Freddie Freeman. The entire interview was in Spanish, so I'm not going to play any clips of it, but Acuna did not hold back when discussing his disdain for his former teammate. Acuna said that he will not miss Freddie Freeman, going on to mention how Freeman was too cocky and then told a story that took place in 2018 when he painted eye black on his face, and Freddie came and wiped it off while saying quote unquote, we don't do it like that, probably complaining about the design that he drew on his face. 
Acuna was really shocked that he did that to him and made sure to say that he and Freeman were just teammates, not friends. That wasn't all. Acuna talked about how Freeman was overbearing, wasn't someone he could ever talk to, and said that Freeman did not care when he was thrown at a bunch of times. Freddie Freeman is likely that kind of old school person who isn't too fond of people flipping their bat or watching their home runs. If you don't believe me, let's do a quick flashback. The year is 2013, and Carlos Gomez of the Brewers just hit an absolute nuke in Atlanta. He showed some flair, yes, but Freddie, who usually never gets mad, was livid, screaming at Gomez at first base. The benches ended up clearing, there was immense beef, so on and so forth, but the point is that it shouldn't really surprise anybody that Freeman didn't really have his own teammate Acuna's back after he was being intentionally hit by pitches just for showing some flair and having some fun on the baseball field. Freeman always seemed like such a stand-up guy and someone who would be the perfect mentor to Acuna and support him, but this is a good reminder that these teams are filled with human beings with tons of different personalities. There will be friction amongst teammates at times, and this was one of those times. Acuna responded to the original social media posts reporting this, claiming that he never actually said any of that. But according to the interviewer himself, Jansen Pujols, who of course is fluent in Spanish, he confirmed that he actually did say all of that, and if you know Spanish, the clip is out now, so go listen to it for yourself. Let me know how you feel about Acuna not liking Freeman, and thank you for watching.